Now at 11, employees at a Bay Area Sheriff's Department claim they were banned from speaking to co-workers. I sometimes cry at my desk because I want to talk to my friends. Those people are my friends. After a whirlwind couple of months, the police chief in the Bay Area's biggest city announces he's leaving his post. Plus, new information on a three-alarm fire in Santa Clara County tonight. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Ken Dastita, now at 11 and streaming on CBSN Bay Area. San Francisco sued for discrimination after two city employees allege they were ordered not to talk to their co-workers. Tonight, KPIX 5's Joe Vasquez speaks to the plaintiffs about the heavy emotional toll. I was not to talk to anyone in our office. Kim Lee and Danielle Dillard are both longtime employees of the San Francisco Sheriff's Department Warrants Division. They are now suing their employer. I was just handed a piece of paper and told to obey those rules. And just so it's clear, what were the rules on the paper? That I could not speak to anyone, and that covers all city and county employees. That cease and desist order, according to the lawsuit, says they could not communicate with fellow employees. They were told not to speak in the workplace? Exactly. And for the last almost entire year, they have not spoken to any of their colleagues in the workplace for fear of being uh, terminated. So I just didn't talk to nobody. I sometimes cry at my desk because I want to talk to my friends. Those people are my friends. I speak my mind. So for them to tell me that I could no longer speak, it, it bothered me a lot. It tore me down on the inside. It affected my home life. I didn't know how to explain it to my children. I didn't know how to explain it to my husband. It, it, it broke me down and made me a shell of a person. Both women allege the trouble started after each of them separately complained about racial disparities in the workplace. Each of them say they were told by a supervisor not to bring them, quote, that monkey junk. After months of back and forth, and in Danielle's case, multiple reassignments, both say they were ordered to just be quiet. A San Francisco City Attorney spokesperson says, quote, we have not been served with this lawsuit. We will review it at that time and address it in court. Meanwhile, both women say they still go to work every day to a miserable experience. So I go to my desk, and when I know that the lieutenant or something coming in the morning, I hide at my desk with my hood on my head. I do that every single day. I brought a coat with a hood on it. So in the morning, I can hide until it's time for me to leave. With a hood, I'm a hood on my head. Joe, being ordered not to talk at all in the workplace seems just unbelievable. And you can hear how emotional they both are about it. Yeah, they're pretty broken up. I mean, going in every day and dealing with this rule, I've never seen anything like that. You know, their attorney, Angela Aliotto, the former San Francisco supervisor, she says she wants that rule changed immediately. And of course, they are suing for harassment and retaliation, and they want damages. All right, Joe, any idea of how much they're asking for in terms of damages? No, it's uh, okay. not specified in the lawsuit. Uh, it's usually millions is what they ask for and then it goes from there with a negotiation with the city sure all right joe thank you